Hi everyone, so I just want to do a quick video uh, to show my new invoice generator. Um, so I released it two days ago and we've got one super early bird left, so that's pretty cool. People have been downloading it already. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick run through of what it is. So in here we've got a little bit of info up here and there's a link, fill out a form if you want to give any feedback. Um, in the template it's got a 16 minute walkthrough video on how to use it all. Uh, in depth and then I've had another little video here on how to connect it to your own CRM so that's quite useful and then once you're done with those and this bit you can just highlight those and delete them so we've got your invoice dashboard title up here and we've tried to make it look all nice and fancy and then your actual invoices so these are all your invoices here you can see your draft invoices your sent invoices and your paid invoices so you can see it does a sum at the bottom of um, how much the invoices are worth and then how much you should put away for tax, that's quite handy. And then on here, you can see we've got different currencies here. So 200 pounds, $675, um, and then it will show that on the invoice to the client, which is handy. And we have an overdue bit here, so you can easily see which clients are overdue. If we scroll down a bit, you can see, oh, okay, <clears throat> invoice for Notion, this is an overdue invoice. So that is really good to be able to see at a glance and then shows you exactly how overdue it is. And then you've got a calendar here, it shows your due dates when you should be getting paid, that's a nice little feature. And your databases are hidden away at the bottom here. So we've got a invoice database, which is the one at the top just there, and a CRM database. So the CRM database is here, it's your clients. If we go into one of these, we go into Apple, you see I filled out a lot of information for Apple and it gets connected to each invoice automatically. So I can see, okay, we've sent them one invoice, and that's worth, or this client so far is worth 561 pounds and 12 pence. So if you send them more invoices, this number will go up automatically, as will this one. So uh, there's a little bit there for client notes if you want to write, this client's awesome and this client is not so awesome. So let's get into the actual invoices themselves. So from here, what we can do is we've got this invoice generator. So we click on that and that will load up a template for us. And you can add your logo there and all your details here. So date of issue, when is it due, and the invoice total, we'll get into that bit in a second, but that is a formula. So let's call this a test invoice. And if we open up all of the properties here, so the ones that are hidden are the ones you don't want the client to see when you send the invoice. So if you open them all up when you actually make the invoice, you can link it to a client. So you go, okay, this is linked to Apple, let's say. And what currency are we in? Let's say dollars and the amount, $500, and then you can see, okay, the invoice total is $500, and that's what we'll see at the top there. And you've got this other bit here, invoice worth, so that bit is when they actually pay you, how much is it worth at that time? So if they pay me in two weeks, and they're paying me $500, that will be worth however many pounds, and obviously that fluctuates, so when I actually get the money, how much money in my local currency am I getting? So you just gotta fill that out once you've actually been paid. And then in here, you've got a filter applied automatically. So you just add the name and you go, okay, the name is Apple, save, boom. And then it shows just Apple. The invoice breakdown, you can put all your stuff in here. It will sum it up for you. And you put the total at the top and that'll be in dollars. And then the details on how they can pay. You can highlight that bit and create a button for PayPal or Stripe or anything else that you would like. And then when you want to actually send the client the invoice, you could send them, you could share this page publicly or lots of clients like having it as a PDF. So you go to print, save as a PDF and here we've got it all on one page at the minute, but it's a bit small because we're using A2. So if we go back to A4 like normal, here we go. So bill to Apple and it's got all their details there, invoice breakdown and pay via backs. And then it's got a blank page on here because Notion does that for some reason. So you can just say, send pages you know one and two um, in this bit and then you'll have a nice nice invoice to send off to your client so that is an overview of how everything works um, I'll put a link to the invoice in the description and then we have got one super early bird left I've got an early bird price here and then the standard will be 21 pounds and there's a consultation if you want to have a consultation and chat about notion and invoicing and we can walk through stuff and I can build some more features for you, whatever you like. So yeah, I'll put the link in the description and I look forward to hearing from you and I hope you get some use out of this invoice generator.